was a young boy who was visiting his grandfather in his house by the big green meadow. One morning, Peter opened the gate and walked out into the meadow. He was looking for his good friends, the little bird and the duck. When he found them, they were squawking about and flapping their wings, arguing about who was the more talented bird. I'm a better bird than you are because I can fly! No, I'm a better bird because I can swim! The little bird and the duck were so distracted by their argument that they didn't notice the cat sneaking up on them from behind. Watch out! Peter, what are you doing out here? Just playing, Grandfather. Peter, people say there is a big wolf out here. Stay inside the garden gate. Don't play in the meadow. No, oh, boys like me aren't afraid of wolves. Peter walked back toward the house with Grandfather, huffing and puffing and complaining all the way back. He wanted to stay in the meadow with his friends. Grandfather marched Peter into the garden and shut the gate behind them with a bang. Peter tried to play in the garden for a while, but soon he felt very very bored. I want to go back in the meadow with my friends. I'm not afraid of any wolf. While Peter began to play with his friends again, who should appear but the big bad wolf. He bared his sharp teeth and stared at Peter and the birds with fiery red eyes. <gasps> Watch out! <laughs> the wolf lunged at Peter's friends. The little bird and the duck tried their best to escape. But the duck wasn't so lucky. The wolf swallowed him up in one big gulp. Help me, Peter! I'll catch this wolf if it's the last thing I do! Peter climbed up a tree as fast as he could. He made a lasso out of a long rope. You distract the wolf, little bird. While the wolf watched the bird fly in circles over his head, Peter swung the lasso and caught the wolf's tail. With one big tug, he hung the growling creature up by its tail from the tree. There's that pesky wolf. We've been looking for him all day. Wait, don't shoot. I've already caught him. We should take him to the zoo instead. The hunters took the wolf down from the tree, put him in a cage, and began to parade him away. Just then, Grandfather came looking for Peter. He did not know what to think. Peter had disobeyed him. But, on the other hand, he had caught the wolf. Grandfather 
reluctantly join the parade as they made their way to the zoo. But he grumbled all the way there. Oh, but what would have happened if Peter hadn't caught the wolf? What then? Hmm. Hmm. 